Hello everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's lecture number 43, 44 for the students of the Home Bible College. The subject today is baptism and follow-up. Um, any evangelist who leads people to Christ becomes in, concerned and uh, finds it an important thing to discuss the question of baptism and follow-up. You need to make a thorough study in scripture as to what baptism is. Now then, let me give you a few clues. There are a number of different types of baptism in Scripture. I may not mention them all now, but let me give you a clue. First of all, there's the spirit baptism. That's what happens to a Christian at the very moment in which they're saved. Spirit baptism. No water involved in that. And then there is the suffering baptism. Remember the Lord Jesus said, he said, I have a baptism to be baptized with. And he was speaking about the cross. And then, of course, there's kingdom baptism. That's the baptism practiced by John and by Christ and by the apostles. And that was superseded in the church by Christian baptism. Now, all these baptisms are different. And it's up to you to discover and to work out what baptism in Scripture is all about. And you need to examine the meaning of Christian baptism, examine the circumstances and the personnel involved in baptism and have a follow-up plan. It's one thing to preach the gospel and lead people to Christ, but you need to have a follow-up plan. Do you know what one dear evangelist said to me one day, many years ago, he said, a bird always prepares the nest before they have their chicks. And that's very important. If you're going to be a gospel preacher, have something in your mind that is a follow-up plan. Well, I'm going to tell you what mine is. I have 54321. And on my fingers, I can remember what the particular points are. The first is Bible study. We need to read the scriptures. Second thing is we need to learn to pray as a new Christian. The third thing is you need to stand up straight and be a Christian. The fourth thing is this doesn't sit up very well. It's because we all make mistakes and we're never particularly perfect. And so we need to learn how to be restored as a new Christian to the Lord. A lot of Christians, a lot of new Christians stumble on this because they think if ever they sin again, they're going to lose their salvation. But God has provided a particular plan for the Christian to be restored. And that's very important. And then lastly, the little one. The little one isn't strong by himself, but he has the strength of all the others with him. So that's the Bible, prayer, witnessing, restoration and fellowship. Now then, let's suppose you have just one opportunity. You're on a bus or you're on a train and you witness to somebody and you know very well the train is coming into the station and you've got two minutes. Well, then you've got one, two, three, four, five, five things. And I also use the other hand and say, remember that scripture, I will never leave you and that's it so but what if, what if there was an opportunity for further follow-up what i call long-term follow-up well we have a particular program in the home bible college for that and we call it the christian adventure and there are 10 aspects to it and we could do this over 10 individual nights or maybe on a wednesday night on 10 individual weeks but um, the first one then is assurance of salvation and knowing for sure that you're saved. The second one is having a quiet time, learning to spend time with God, what, what we call the time of your life. The third one is temptation and it's um, on the victory side. How can I stay on the victory side? The fourth one is fellowship and I call it standing together. That's how Christians stand together and support one another. And then we have one called Food for Thought, and that's to do with the Bible. How do I get into the Bible? How do I feed my soul? Uh, the next one then is called In Touch, and it's all about prayer. The next one is all about telling your story, and it's all about giving your testimony to people. Uh, the next one is From the Heart, and it's all about worshipping the Lord. The number nine is all about restoration. What happens when I sin? And we call it keeping in touch. And then the last one is called a Bible overview and it and we call it the Bible in focus. So there's a simple plan for you, much bigger than just the five point plan. But let me give you something else. Let's suppose you're in a situation in which you've done the Christian adventure course and you want to go further still. Where can we go next? Well, 
I'm going to suggest you set up a, a discipleship program. A discipleship program, we call it the Special Christian Service Teams, in which people come to a 12-stage program in which they learn the key features of discipleship, the key features of discipleship. And those, and those are in two strands. The one is Christian living, and the other one is in Christian service. So there's the two strands of the discipleship training program well there we are that's an awful lot for you all to remember i realize that you can watch this as many times as you like you can make notes if you wish but we wish you every blessing and we look forward to seeing you next year when we start with this program all over again with lecture number one for the students of the home bible college god bless you bye for now